we are going to see OTT yep. cycle. Uh, everybody put your uh, mic in mute. <laughs> Now we are going to see OTC cycle, order to cash cycle. Okay, very important topic. Okay, order to cash cycle, OTC cycle or O2C cycle or O2C cycle. Okay, it is inquiry. Can you just make a note of it? One, inquiry. Two, quotation. Three, sales order. Four delivery. Finally, billing. Okay, inquiry can be done in BA eleven transaction code. Quotation BA twenty one transaction code. Twenty one create, twenty two change, twenty three display. BA eleven create, BA twelve change, BA thirteen display. So as sales order. BA zero one zero two. Zero three. Okay, delivery VL zero one N zero two N zero two N and zero three N. So as billing VF zero one zero two and zero. Okay, order. So inquiry is nothing but the first one. Inquiry is nothing but we are walking into a com uh, uh, showroom and we are just inquiring a product. Once we are inquiring the product, it will be put it in the system. They put it in the system. That is inquiry. Okay. Based on the inquiry, they give us the quotation. Okay. This product's price or quotation is nothing but product's price. Based on the product's price, upon the customer's agreement, customers, customers, uh, customer has agreed to buy the product, we create sales order, order confirmation. Okay. In the sales order, header data, header data, customer related data, item data, material related data, material related data. After that, we do delivery and billing. Pick and PCL. Pick and PCL. PCL. Finally, billing, customer billing. So now I'm going to create inquiry. VA eleven. Go to VA eleven. Inquiry type IN. IN. Okay. Sales organization distribution channel division. LD01, LD, LD. Sales area. This is so called sales area. Okay. Now let me press enter. Now I have my own customer and material. See, this is my custom. Let me enter the custom. Custom. Present. Okay. Enter the material. This is my material. This is my material. See, quantity one. One quantity. Okay. So, customer has, this MM Industries has inquired about this material. So, I am putting it in the system. 401. 406 I am putting it in the system. You don't have to do anything here. Just save it. This is my inquiry number. Let me take out this inquiry number. Okay. Let me take this inquiry number. Based on this, they are giving the quotation. Company is giving the quotation to the customer. Company is giving quotation to the customer, quotation, VA21. What I will do is slash in VA21. Okay, quotation type QT, QT. This is IN, IN, order type. Quotation type QT, QT. Okay, create with reference, create with reference. Based on the inquiry, I'm creating quotation. This is my inquiry number. Okay. Copy. Click on to copy. Okay. This quotation valid up to valid up to 23rd day after tomorrow. 
Okay, go to the sales tab. Same payment terms, in court terms. What I tell in court. Okay. Double click onto this line item. Go to shipping. Plant. Let me enter plant. LD01. Plant. So again, we have a problem with this material. Okay, no problem. Okay. Net weight and gross. Net weight and gross. Okay. Before, before creating quotation, I have a small updation in this material. Go to slash in mm02 i am i'm not creating any quotation mm02 tell it enter this i didn't select availability group zero zero our which seven now let me create quotation va21 qt Create with reference. This is my inquiry number. Inquiry number. This is my inquiry number. Okay. Inquiry number. Copy. Okay. Valid up to date. Go to sales tab. Enter payment terms. Info terms. International shipping terms. F O P. Okay. So double click onto this line item, go to shipping, enter plant, LD0, enter storage location, LD0, net weight and gross weight. So the quotation, we are giving it to the customer. Okay. This customer, this is the customer, we are giving it to the customer. This is the material. Okay. For this price, 1,650 rupees. Okay, we are giving the quotation to the customer based on the inquiry he made before. That is what the meaning is. Okay, now seven. Now I have created a quotation. Based on quotation, I'm going to create sales order, delivery, and bill. Let me go to my notepad, enter the quotation. Now I'm going to create sales order. Sales order. Close this. Go to slash in PA zero sales order. Create with reference. Quotation. Enter the quotation number. This is my quotation. Copy. Okay. Now double click onto this line item. Customer reference. Okay. Okay. Now come back. Double click onto this line item. Shipping tab. Go to shipping tab. Net weight and gross weight. And gross weight. Now seven. Now let me do delivery and billing. BL01A. 816. It's my sales order. 816. It's my sales. 816. Now I'm going to do delivery. Go to Slash and BL01 here. My shipping point LD0. Okay. Go to picking one. Pick to quantity one. Fully picked. Fully picked. Post goods issue. Now let me do billing. Slash and PF0. Let me do this. Press enter and save it. Okay. Now let me go to display, display inquiry. BA 13. Go to BA 13 and let me check the document flow. This is my document flow. See it? Customer. Came for the inquiry, uh, inquiry. He has just inquired. We have put it in the system. Based on the inquiry, we have given quotation to the customer. We have put it in the system. Based on the quotation, we created sales order, order confirmation. We confirmed the order with the customer. Now we did outbound delivery and we did invoice. 
Au moins, je pense que... Next, we are going to do item proposal. Item proposal. Item proposal. So, some customers, they frequently, for example, let me take this customer. Some customers, they may frequently buy the same, same material. This customer, he may buy frequently these three materials. So all the time we don't have to enter that in uh, sales order, but rather we can create an item proposal and call it in sales order. Okay, that is item proposal. Now I'm going to create a proposal, item proposal. Go to VA51, VA51. Okay, create 52 change, 53 display. Okay, go to VA51, VA51. Okay, item proposal, select item proposal. PV, PV is my sales block, PV. Okay, present. Okay, enter the materials, 4061. Target quantity, 5. Okay, 4069. Target quantity, 7. Okay, finally, 4027, target quantity, 3, okay, present, item proposal, okay, new, 7, 7, let me take this number, item proposal. Now let me go to BA30, BA01, slash and BA01. Okay, OR, standard order. Press enter. Okay, let me enter customer. Press enter. Okay, learn to work. Payment terms, input terms, FOB. Okay, now this customer, not only this customer, any customer, these three are commonly bought materials. Okay, so we have put it in item proposal, commonly bought, uh, purchased material by the customer. Okay, now go to edit, edit, additional functions, propose item. Edit, click on to edit. Okay, additional function propose item. Okay, now let me enter this number. Enter this item proposal number. If you want default with quantity or default without quantity, default with quantity is the quantity I have given in the item proposal. Okay, default without quantity, with quantity will not be taken into the consideration. Okay, uh, let me enter default with quantity. See, yes, all the three material has been displayed. Okay, one by one, one by one, let me double click onto this line item. Shipping, go to shipping. Let me enter plant. Storage location. Okay, net weight and gross weight. Come back, go to the second item, line item. Let me double click onto this line item. Okay, enter plant, storage location, net weight and gross weight. Okay. Come back. Third item, double click onto this line item. Okay, same plant, storage location, Net weight and gross. Net weight and gross. Okay. Now let me save this. 
this is my sales order. 817. 817 is my sales order. 817 is my sales order. Now let me deliver it. Go to slash and VL01. Okay, 8 CS. This has been adapted. The presenter. Okay, CS. All the three at once I'm going to do delivery. 5. Seven, three, three. Press enter. Post goods issue. Post goods issue. Done. Now let me do VF zero. Press enter. Press enter. CS five build a quantity seven three. Okay, these all the quantities has come from item proposal. Okay, this material also has come from item proposal. Okay, let me save. It. Here. This is all called item proposal. How we do item proposal? Okay. 